in the third industrial revolution, so what happens in the third industrial revolution, it builds on mechanized process processes in the first industrial revolution. So we got machines making things. It's electric powered. And so we have mass production. So we have uh, machines and systems making uh, the exact same thing. But in the third industrial revolution, really what we see is automation. And so we have uh, computers and, con and control systems operating the, the methods of production. And so what we're seeing is we want to have the same goal in the third industrial revolution as we had in the past. We want to make uh, highly standardized identical items, goods and services, mostly goods. Uh, and we, found that we find that uh, computer control of that production system uh, uh, increased uh, 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 margins. We made more money. Lifespan uh, improved uh, the uh, um, the education uh, around the globe, uh, more people uh, in terms of literacy rates uh, went up and things got much, much better. What's, and we're, we're about half, we're about 50 years into that uh, industrial revolution. And there's a little compression in terms of how long the industrial revolutions go. But now we're getting smarter and we've got this, uh, this optimization curve where we're always trying to get better and better. And we're saying, well, what's the next thing beyond auto, simple automation. And we know we've talked about the fourth industrial revolution, we talked about digital transformation. And what does that mean in, at the macro sense, at the mega trend level that you, that you mentioned, we, you opened up the, the session with. In the fourth industrial revolution, the fundamental mindset change isn't, is that where in the past we wanna make like items, everything's the same, uh, and we want to make a, make a bunch of them, and we want to use less people. We want to make more money doing it, and we want to do it faster, cheaper, uh, and with a higher degree of, of uh, uh, precision. We want all of that. We don't want to give that up. But in the fourth industrial revolution, the mindset change is what we want is those items to be mass produced. We want it to be cheap. We want it to be fast. But what we also want is we want to get what we had way back before the first industrial revolution, which is highly customized perfect fit items. So we want mass production and we want customization together. And that's a fundamental change between what we've had in the, in the previous industrial revolutions. And it's a fundamental change that's driven the growth of companies um, uh, like Amazon and Netflix and YouTube. And you see, how do you get uh, all these goods and services that are mass produced, they're distributed uh, highly quickly, but what the, the consumer gets is highly customized or unique to their experience and their, and their needs personalized, and their demands. Personalized, right? Customized. Personalized. Next level, yep. Mm -hmm. That is exactly right. And so that's the challenge that companies have across the board, regardless of, of uh, what industry they're in. So if we talk about healthcare, how do you personalize healthcare? Well, it's personalized medicine. And so the fundamental change that we'll see in, uh, from this point forward is not sick care, not care in the healthcare system oriented towards uh, getting people back into a state of well-being when they're sick. So I've got a disease, I go to the doctor, go to the hospital to get that disease or, or cancer cut out. Um, it's, healthcare is gonna evolve from that to well, wellness care. So it's gonna be personalized medicine to keep you well and healthy versus to get you back into being well and healthy. And the, the promise of the fourth industrial revolution is that we've seen lifespans increase with, with the last three industrial revolutions. And now around the globe, whether you're in Europe and the, and the difference between industrial, industrialized nations in lifespan and, and non-industrialized nations. So if you look at uh, uh, lifespan on the African continent, uh, across the globe, uh, they're, they're getting closer and closer together. So it's a rising tide that's lifting all boats. And in many regards, uh, I know that it's very stressful now, but in many regards, there's never been a better time to be alive on earth than right now. So you can live longer now, more people are literate right now, infant mortality is down, um, uh, your uh, uh, per capita GDP, gross domestic product, is, is up across the board. Uh, so more people have more spending money. Uh, and they also have more leisure time than they've ever had. And so all of these things are, are producing uh, very good results. And when we start seeing 
fundamental changes in industry. So for example, in healthcare, going from sickness care to wellness care and keeping people healthy, we're gonna see an, an, another advance in lifespan. And it's not just lifespan where people think that um, uh, uh, without personalized medicine that uh, the average can get close to 120 years of age in terms of uh, 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 lifespan. Um, what, what they really think is that um, but with personalized medicine that you could actually have a longer of your life uh, being productive and being happy and being uh, 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 well suited for the world. Uh, so you got a much more happy part of your lifespan instead of a long period of time at the end of your life where you're not very healthy and you're not very happy. So that, that period of time is compressed and you're living much longer. So that means you that we'll have... Me, Matthew. Well, you convinced me just here now, okay, how lucky you <laughs> are, okay, being born when and how we were born, okay? I was born in Soviet Union. So our yeah. next, next lecture will be about how country tried to jump to that third industrial revolution rather quickly in 1917. And I have my strong yeah. opinions on what did not exactly work in that experiment. So the moment mm -hmm. when you mentioned that it was rather evolutions, not revolutions, okay, also important. So fantastic topics. So we are, first of all, we're very lucky. Second of all, the access, right? The access to resources, to education, to healthcare, absolutely grew in past 50 years.